Hi, my name is Shreya, and this is my fifth Passion Time project. My question is, can I build a model of the solar system to show how it works? And this is my Trello card. I'll click on it so you can see it. You can see over there, there, my steps on it. So my first step is... Step one, make my Trello card, then start my KWHLEQ. I'll explain what all of this is. My Trello card is what I'm showing you right now, so, yeah. Step three, research on the solar system models. Step four, start in my model. Step five, finish KWHLEQ. And step six, make my video. And in there, with the make my model is also researching, just in case you were wondering. Here's my KWHLEQ. What do I know? I know that the order of the planets in the solar system is Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And I also know the dwarf planets, Pluto, Haname, Make Make, Eris, and Cirrus. And when you go to this page, you can read the rest on your own. So right now, I'm going to get to my model. I'm going to show you what I've, all the progress I've made. So I'll bring this back up. As you see here, um, this is my um, roll app that I made to hold all my information. I'm going to click on that. And if you click on it, I'll bring you to a site. You might have to log in to see it, but if you're okay with that, I would be very grateful. So, bring myself back on it. Here is the beginning cover. And this is the next page. This is my model with all the planets. And this is just the planets in general. And now I'm going to show you how the solar system works. Because I built a model to show how it works. And it wouldn't make sense if I just did the model. So how it works. Imagine the solar system is a big trampoline and the sun is a bowling ball. Then imagine you were putting a penny on it. The penny will roll across it like the planets. Every second that it rolls about a million is about a million years on Earth. And eventually the penny will crash into the solar system like the solar system in trillions of years. So that's basically how it works. Now I'm going to show you what my whole thing looks like. So I'll extend the screen here so you can see what it looks like. Okay, here is the chart of the solar system that I made. I'll lower the screen so you can see it better. So this might be very hard to see, but you can just work with me. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, the asteroid belt, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Pluto. So I'll give you a close-up look. Yes. Now I'll show you all the planets. So all these are made out of tin foil. It took a while to make. Here are the asteroids. And how to slay them on the asteroid belt. You can see here. Here are all the planets. And now I'm going to put them in motion so you can really see how it works. If you see this, you can see it's sort of an illusion. It looks like the trampoline, how it's weighing down. That's why I put the circles in it. So here is our sun. Here is Venus. Here is Mercury. I'm sorry, this is Mercury. This is Pluto. Put that in Pluto. This is Uranus. This is Neptune. This is Saturn. This is Jupiter, which is the biggest planet of them all. Earth and Mars. So, as you see, here are all the planets. Unfortunately, never, like, ever have all the planets in the solar system been lined up together. Never. So, yeah. As you can see, this is the normal pose of the solar system. 
probably around like right here. Because never would they all be lined up. That would probably be impossible. So all of the solar system planets go at a different pace. Mercury beautifully always skims the uh, sun's surface. But later it was discovered that uh, Mercury has a strange orbit. It orbits, but then it falls out into the solar system, then it goes right back in. So, in trillions of years, all, all of the solar system will fall into the sun. So, yeah. Now I'm going to show you what happens if you put two suns in the solar system. If you put two solar suns, eventually the sun will start two suns will start pulling each other and then they'll start orbiting each other. But both all the planets will start orbiting the two suns. So this would be what Mercury would this would be what one would have to do. So I'll use Earth as an example. Earth. It would wrap around one, it would wrap around one, but then eventually while the two both orbit, it would it, it would, the whole solar system would just get messed up because it's very confusing and scientists haven't have, have like found an equation to solve how this works so and eventually the two suns will crash and it'll come come a big explosion and all the planets will crash into each other as well so it's not going to end very well now I am going to show you like how the solar system works with only one planet. So if player ten, all the rest of the planets weren't here, and the only planet there was Neptune. So Neptune would just eventually circle around because over trillions and trillions and billions of years it would circle around, circle around, circle around. But like like many, many, many trillions, billion, quadrillions more of years, it would crash into the sun. So that's what it would happen. And the asteroid belt. If you've ever wondered why they call the asteroid belt the asteroid belt, well it's because it's a belt around the warm planets and the cool planets. The warm planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. And the asteroid belt is a belt around the warm planets and the cool planets. The cool planets are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Which is not necessarily a planet anymore, but I decided to include it. So there we go. As you see, all of these planets are made out of tin foil. They're easy to make. You can do this project at home anytime you want. You just have to color the tin foil before you put it on, and then it'll form the planet. So I guess that's enough to show you with the solar system part. So I'll my screen. I'll show you back. And here is the rest of what I did. What did I learn? I learned exactly what I wanted to learn, which was if I could build a model of the solar system to, to show how it works. And you can read more of it if you want, anything more. And yeah, so please check it out. It's very interesting and cool. And I hope you'll watch this soon. So, anyways, I have another thing to say about the planets. If a tip if you're ever going to make this project. Why the solar system works the way it does. So, a different way of showing how the solar system works, but this is another theory. Also, one of my questions that I've had is another theory of how the solar system works. So, there's another theory called string theory. I've heard of it, but I've never researched it. So, I was just researching, and I, I didn't really get a descript description, but I heard that string theory is like all the planets are attached to strings, and if one string gets cut, all the planets will just fly off to space. And it's sort of how gra gravity works. Gravity is a bunch of like, strings almost. So now about the sun, so more information about the sun. There's so much gravity from the sun's core pushing inwards and outwards. So eventually your sun will explode and all the planets will 
be bad. It will extend all the way up to Mars. When the sun dies, it will explode and become a red giant, and all the planets will be crushed. And yeah, that's pretty much how the solar system works and when the solar system will end. And yeah, so just remember where to go if you want to see this and learn more about the solar system. You go on to my document, which I um, will keep on editing, and you can also go on fossilizewu.com. You can see what I've done. And you can also comment below. You just hit zero comments. You can comment what you think and what what advice you have for me, basically. So I guess that's it. Bye.